My name is Tyler Chadwick. I own Carolina Gold Oyster Company, and uh, we've decided to start doing these YouTube videos, even though it's not really who I am. But we're going to try it. Uh, so anyway, we're going to bring you guys along to show you what a day in the life of an oyster farmer is. I guess if you guys are interested in it. Uh, typically, my day starts between 5 and 6 a.m. We get the boat ready. I go pick up my help, and. Um, we get out here in the water and just start working. Uh, today our goal is, is to uh, tumble through some oysters and uh, the goal of that is to tumble through different sizes and move the oysters into different size mesh so it allows more water flow. Uh, so we're tumbling <clears throat> some 9 millimeter bags today which you see are our smaller mesh bags. So we're, we're tumbling the oysters out of here and we're moving them into cages that are much larger mesh. The whole purpose behind that is so there's more flow of water and there's more food for them to consume. And they grow faster. Um, and this here is our tumbler. <clears throat> uh, pretty much the object of the tumbler, the only thing it really does is it has a little motor on it and it spins this tube around and around. And the ones that are the oysters that are too small will fall out here through the bottom. And then the ones that we put into our larger 14 millimeter bag will come out here. Um, so anyway, we'll just start tumbling. You can see what it looks like, and we'll move on to the next task. guys can notice but there's not really a whole bunch of small oysters falling out we actually didn't get any falling out so a lot of questions or a lot of times I get is well, why do you tumble them if you're not worried about tumbling out the different sizes well with an oyster there's fresh growth of shell the oyster is continuously growing its shell what the tumbling does is it breaks off the little tip of that growth and what that does instead of making the oyster grow real long like this one it'll grow a deep cup so it won't grow as long but it'll grow thicker and uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. I'll show you what it looks like for a oyster to go through the tumble. So the oyster starts in this container here and we scoop it out into the tray up here in the tumbler and then we push it down through the tube here tumbles down through the tube then comes to the end um, where we scoop it in the bag we're going in the bags first so anyway watch your ears you're going to get loud All right, now that the tumbling is completed, um, what we do is we scoop the oysters out and put them into the larger mesh bags here. Uh, so as you can see, there's oysters in there. Uh, so we tumbled a total of uh, seven of the smaller mesh bags, which those are nine millimeter bags, and it turned into, it turned into 12, um, bags um, so pretty much what you do is as the oysters um, the oysters start off at six millimeter in size and you put more oysters per container when they're much smaller because they don't take up as much space but as they grow what you have to do is tumble them 
and thin them out into larger mesh bags, which is kind of what we're doing today. Um, and then we put them here on the farm. So we're going to get the, all these zip tied up and then uh, we'll take you and show you uh, what we do with them and where we put them on the farm and then the next step. All right, now that we've got the oyster tumbled and put into other bags, we bring them out to the farm. This is uh, the farm. We have two different types of gear. Maybe you can see over there that's a uh, different style. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Sorry if you can't hear me because of the wind. Anyway, we've tumbled through the bags and then we've come and put the bags on our main line here. Now, each main line is held in place by three military grade earth anchors and we run this rope here all the way down them with little loops in them attached to a long line clip and that's attached to the bag. Now the oysters that we just tumbled out they'll stay here for probably another two months and then they'll probably be almost ready for harvest. Um, so what we have to do um, pretty continuously almost every week um, the bags out here uh, we have to come through them, um, uh, look at them. Uh, we have to flip these bags over because you see the growth on them. Uh, so we let the, the top end bake in the sun and bake off all the growth and then flip it back um, and, and do the same thing to the other side. So anyway, so that's kind of what we do. Um, that's kind of all we've got planned for today. Um, so what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and head back. All right, guys, we're back here at our facility. Tyler had to go somewhere, so I'm gonna finish this video. So when it comes down to cleaning the boat, um, it's very dirty on my days of work. Basically, all we do is just take a pressure washer, pressure wash the outside, go on the inside, pressure wash the inside, try to get as much of that stuff off as we can. Once we once we uh, pressure wash it out, we'll uh, rinse it out with a hose, try to get any of the last little bit of mess out the back that washes out and then every couple of days we will then flush the motor so come along and join me for this wash all right guys what was a couple seconds for y'all was about 10 to 20 minutes for me we uh, pressure washed the boat, got it about as clean as we can possibly get it, and um, yeah, 